year in Liberia. And then we also have an office in Sierra Leone. And then somewhere here in uh, Uganda, which is hidden, but it's right over there, Uganda. And our head office is in the U.S. We do a lot of work. We work in post-war countries. These are countries that have been completely destroyed because of wars. And so all we're doing is helping to rebuild the education system, training the teachers, providing materials, building schools for young people. We're doing vocational training, skills training, micro-lending. And in healthcare, it's about preventing HIV and AIDS, which is such a huge killer in Africa. And all of our staff are under 30. So it's just a bunch of young people around the world doing good things drives you to do this work? What, why are you doing such? Well, it comes from my experience in Liberia. I was in Liberia during the Civil War, and I went through the experiences of nearly dying and being buried alive. And I was 10 when that happened. And so as a child, I felt this shouldn't be happening to children anywhere. And essentially from that, I said I would dedicate my life to making sure that no child won without food or water. And that's just been what I've been doing ever since I was 10. I'm now 28. So it's been quite a few years and I have a few years to go so <laughs> so you told a lot about your youth and how that affected the work you're doing now if you could go back to when you were younger what advice would you give yourself wow <laughs> I probably would tell I mean there's a lot of things I did then a lot of risk I took just in terms of screaming at governments that I probably wouldn't do now, or I wouldn't do the same way, because I mean, we were always in the streets demonstrating and protesting, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, young people. Um, and so I'm a little more careful now, um, but that, that would probably be it. But everything else I absolutely enjoyed um, and don't regret, have any regrets. And going a little bit deeper, the youth of today who feel so passionate of bringing their initiatives into the world, what advice would you have for them? Well, everybody needs to find something they f really care about. I mean, too often you have people going behind what the hot thing is at that moment. So all of a sudden, if Haiti comes out, then everybody moves to Haiti. And then if some AIDS comes out, then they move to AIDS. And if Somalia comes out, they move to Somalia. That really isn't sustained. And as a young person, each person has to find what they believe in even if it's not the hot thing at that time. So if nobody else is talking about your issue, as long as you believe with it, just stick with it, just keep going at it, your time will come. Oh. Woo.